Maine Family Planning, which operates 18 health clinics around Maine, says that after nearly 50 years as Maine's grantee for Title 10 Family Planning Program, it will withdraw from the program rather than comply with the Trump Pence gag rule. That means that the network of clinics, partners and providers will lose $1.8 million in federal funds. Right now, Maine Family Planning and its partners, which include Planned Parenthood, serve more than 23,000 low income women, men and teenagers each year. They offer affordable birth control, STD testing and treatment and cancer screenings. Separately, Maine Family Planning provides abortion services using no federal money to do so. But it says that this gag rule, which restricts how Title X providers can speak with their patients about abortion, would make our state less healthy and that it cannot abide by what it calls an attack. It's just completely outrageous and obnoxious and odious that the administration would presume so arrogantly to interfere in the relationship between a provider and her patient. So right now, Maine Family Planning is not planning to close any health care centers. It's going to tap its reserves while it looks for alternative funding. If it did have to close clinics, it says poor and rural Mainers would be hit the hardest. Senator Angus King weighed in on this. He says these vital services, including cancer screenings, family planning, and other preventive health care, are being threatened as a part of the administration's ongoing fixation with standing between a woman and her doctor. He goes on to say Maine family planning's loss of Title X funding is a loss for Maine women and families, which will disproportionately hurt those who are already struggling. And this today from Governor Janet Mills, who says it is her goal as governor to ensure that Maine men and women have robust access to health care. She applauds Maine Family Planning for their commitment to keep their health centers open for as long as possible. And she says her administration will work with the organization to evaluate if there is any way state government can be helpful.